Today, we're diving into the surprising news about Apple's iPhone shipments in 2024. Get ready for an insightful analysis of what's happening and why, especially focusing on Apple's hurdles in the Chinese market. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tech insights. Apple's 2024 forecast. Start with an overview. Renowned analyst Ming Kai Kuo has predicted a significant drop in iPhone shipments for 2024. What's behind this unexpected forecast? We'll break down the key reasons and what it means for Apple and iPhone enthusiasts. The China Dilemma Simplify the situation. Apple is facing tough times in China, a crucial market. Local competitors are gaining ground, challenging the iPhone's dominance. This segment will explore how these dynamics are influencing Apple's strategies and shipment numbers. The numbers tell the tale. Explain the statistics. According to Ming Kai Kuo, Apple might see a 10% to 15% drop in iPhone shipments for each half of 2024. That's a potential decrease to 200 million units for the year, marking a 15% decline compared to 2023. Let's dissect these figures and their impact. The role of supply chain adjustments. Detail the supply chain issues. A key factor in this forecast is Apple's adjustment in semiconductor component orders for the upcoming iPhone 15 and 16. What does reducing these orders mean, and how does it relate to the bigger picture of Apple's challenges? Looking ahead. Offer a perspective. With these hurdles, what's next for Apple? We'll speculate on potential strategies and how Apple can navigate its challenges in China and beyond. It's a crucial moment for the tech giant, and the decisions made now could shape its future. Wrap up with a summary and call to action. Despite the forecasted dip in 2024 shipments, Apple's story is far from over. The shift in smartphone trends. The tech market is evolving, and so are user preferences. High-end smartphones are now leaning towards generative AI capabilities and foldable designs. We'll explore how these trends are reshaping the industry and why Apple's current lineup might be falling behind. The comeback of Huawei and its impact. Huawei's resurgence in China poses a significant challenge for Apple. With stiff competition and innovative offerings from local and international brands, Apple's market share is under threat. Let's dive into the dynamics of this rivalry and what it means for Apple's position in China. Samsung's bold move. While Apple faces challenges, Samsung is adjusting its strategy, boosting shipments for its Galaxy S24 series thanks to the allure of generative AI. This chapter discusses how Samsung's optimism contrasts with Apple's cautious approach and what it signals for the industry. Apple's current struggles in China. Recent weeks have seen a sharp decline in Apple's weekly shipments in China, by 30% to 40%. We'll analyze the factors contributing to this downturn and the looming threat of Huawei and foldable smartphones on Apple's sales. Looking to 2025, Apple's response. All eyes are on Apple's next move. Rumors suggest a major design overhaul and a stronger focus on AI in 2025, including the much-anticipated iPhone Fold. This segment speculates on how these innovations could redefine Apple's trajectory and whether they can recapture consumer interest. The analysts' perspective. Despite the current setbacks, analysts from Wedbush remain optimistic about Apple's long-term value, citing a pent-up demand for the iPhone 16. We'll break down their analysis and discuss the broader financial implications for Apple amid its recent challenges. iOS 17.4 Overview. First up, the basics. iOS 17.4 is here with a hefty 1.74 GB update. It's packed with changes largely driven by the EU's Digital Markets Act. Today, we'll explore what this means for you and the wider Apple ecosystem. Breaking free from the App Store. The headline feature? Apps can now be downloaded outside of the App Store in the EU. That's right. The Epic Games Store is making its way to iOS, bringing Fortnite back to iPhone users. We'll discuss what this means for gaming and app distribution on iOS. Browser Engine Freedom Goodbye, mandatory Apple WebKit. Hello, browser engine diversity. Google Chrome and others can now use their own engines like Chromium. Let's break down how this could transform your web browsing experience on iOS. 
Payment flexibility in apps. Developers. Rejoice. Payments within apps can now go through providers like PayPal, not just through the App Store. This chapter will cover the implications for app monetization and user choice. Beyond the DMA. New iOS features. iOS 17.4 isn't all about the DMA. Get ready for 18 new emoji, podcast transcripts, and a direct Shazam playlist edition iPhone 15 and 15 Pro users, we've got news for you too. Check your battery's charging cycles and production date right in the settings. The future of iOS apps in the EU. What do these changes mean for the future of iOS apps in the EU? From Xbox Game Pass possibilities to broader app availability, we'll speculate on what's next for iPhone users and developers in the EU. The release of iOS 17.4 brings significant updates to Apple devices, focusing on compliance with the EU's Digital Markets Act, DMA, enhancing user experiences, and addressing various bugs. Let's delve into the key features and improvements brought by this update. Compliance with the EU's Digital Markets Act, DMA. App distribution flexibility. In a groundbreaking change, iOS 17.4 allows apps to be distributed outside of the App Store within the EU. This opens the door for platforms like the Epic Games Store to make their way onto the iPhone, heralding the return of popular games such as Fortnite. Browser engine independence. Browsers like Google Chrome now have the autonomy to use their own engines, like Chromium, ending their reliance on Apple's WebKit. This move could significantly enhance the browsing experience by leveraging the unique capabilities of these engines. Payment options expansion. Developers can now incorporate alternative payment methods, such as PayPal, for in-app purchases, reducing Apple's oversight on payment processes and potentially lowering costs for developers and consumers. New features and enhancements in iOS 17.4. Apple Podcasts with Transcripts. A notable enhancement for accessibility and usability, transcripts are now available in English, Spanish, French, and German, synchronized with audio playback. Users can interact with the text, choosing to read specific parts or the entire episode, and even start playback from a selected point. Music recognition and management. The integration of Shazam allows users to directly add recognized songs to Apple Music playlists and library, including Apple Music Classical, enriching the music discovery and listening experience. Enhanced Siri functionality. Siri's capabilities have been expanded to read and respond to messages in any supported language, improving its usefulness for multilingual users. Stolen device protection options. iOS 17.4 introduces more robust options for stolen device protection, enhancing security and peace of mind for users. Battery health insights. For iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro users, detailed battery information, including charging cycles, production date, and first use date, is now available, offering deeper insights into device health and longevity. Bug fixes and improvements. A range of bug fixes includes resolving issues with display profiles in contacts, dual SIM configurations, and more, ensuring a smoother, more reliable user experience across various functionalities. Availability. It's important to note that some features introduced with iOS 17.4 may not be available in all regions or on all Apple devices, highlighting the varying regulatory and hardware landscapes across the global market. Thanks for tuning in to Future Phone Flash. We hope you enjoyed today's tech journey as much as we did. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you won't miss any of our future tech flashes. Your support fuels our passion for tech, and we can't wait to bring you more thrilling updates from the smartphone universe. Until next time, keep flashing forward into the future of tech.